Hello everybody and welcome once again to Danny and Sons Real Tech Mod Pack. So today I would like to I've got a few things. Let's look at the few things I've got on my list here. Can we see those? Yes we can. I'd like to make another chest plate. Nothing with the one I've got, but I'd like to put on it invisibility. Because I'd like to to go and deal with that uh, ocean monument and I think invisible invisibility is a good thing to have. And I'm very sad, I lost my backpack, and in my backpack I got all my tools or most of my tools and I'd also got a half a stack of uh, about 20 diamond ore so I'm sort of a bit sad about that and there was other bits and pieces in there too and I've but I found some uh, maps treasure maps and I've dug around I haven't found the treasure yet so we'll have to see if we can find that so let's start with the armor first of all so I prepared everything this time I've prepared everything I think I want to do. So the first thing I want to do is I want to make this invisibility traveller's cloak. So that's fermented spider eye, that's dead easy, it's just a recipe for that one. Sugar uh, mushroom and spider eye. I've got stacks, most of stacks of most of these actually, maybe mushrooms are one I've got least of. Golden carrot potion of invisibility, now that's actually quite easy. That's a potion of night vision which we've done before. Plus some fermented spiders eye. Night vision was golden carrot. A golden carrot on awkward potion, which is of course another one. So it's a few steps, but not not too difficult. And I made some of those. So we can take that one out. And hopefully when we put that into the armor plate we've got a pretty good armor. So I was looking at two different armors. I was looking at steel chest plate cores. Because when you have a look at this stuff here, let's go and see if I can there's not much space in that, is there? So I would like to have a look at armor. I was also going to look at um, chest plate. This one. So I was looking at these here, and looks this one's got 8.83 armor and 5.4 toughness. So that's pretty good actually. And then melanium I can't speak to speak today I'm having difficulty this was actually slightly less it was oh defense 20 or oh, 8 and this was 8.83 .8 so I thought this might have been good so I started off doing this one and then started mixing in the bits and pieces and I discovered it was actually not so good so let's have a look have I got enough space in me probably not let's remove some stuff and I've got or well, sort it anyway Let's put this down there because I want to I want to charge that up later on. <clears throat> I think that'll do actually. So what do I just do then? So this one here we've got I've got these different um, steel steel um, so they call plates yes, and they've got the armor trim. So let's just move the armor trim from here and have a look at the steel plates. I've got three different types of. Oh, and I've got another bone as well, necrotic bone. I've got three different types of plates in here. So we'll actually look at take it one at a time, see how what the difference is. It does sort of tell you in the book, and I think I was deciding on voltaic as a as a as the end one. Now what does that give me? The steel actually gives you toughness. This one gives you toughness of 4.5. Then that's three ingots of of steel. So the durability is also 10. Now, I was playing around with that, so we take off that one and we can put in, say, silver. So we've got 588 and toughness is 5.4 and defense is 24, so it's a pretty good armor to start with. What's the defense on this one? This one's fine. So I think these don't change the toughness and defense, irrespective of what I put on. I think it only affects the durability of this one. So the steel gives me 458. Bronze gives me four hundred, uh, five hundred and thirty-eight, and dense. This one gives me five hundred and eighty-eight, and I think this one gives me six hundred and thirty-one. Gives me the most. So I've decided I'm going to use this combination. We could actually take off the other stuff. We could take out a silver plate here and have a look at the differences. So if I swap this over for the melanium, <laughs> we get five hundred and ninety-two, but we don't get so much defense. But the toughness is the same because of the steel. So that's what I decided to do. So we'll do that one. And then on that we're going to put in 
the Traveller's Invisibility Cloak. So that should do. Let's have a look. I'm only going to make the chest plate today because I have to go and see how it actually works. Let's press F5 and have a look at ourselves. Okay, that's not too bad. <laughs> Quite like this sort of golden trim. And we have 2.5 on the toughness scale and 9 on the defence. So that's pretty good. I'm not 100% sure what toughness is. I must be honest with you. I think it's unbreaking, but maybe somebody can tell me. So I'm go that's the one I'm going to do. The other stuff I'm going to put back in this chest. Let's press the fuck and put it away. No space in there. Uh, parts. Yes, of course, we've got this part place here. So we can put all of this into this. Into the parts chest. Is that everything? I think so. And I need to go and get. Oh, I wanted to put a diamond on it, actually. Let's go and put. A, let's have to do that as well. Put a diamond on this thing. Like that. Am I wearing it? Yes. Let's go and put a diamond on it. And see what that does to it. Well, I've got plenty of diamonds, even if I lost one. <laughs> so we can put that diamond on, and then it goes up to 781. And the defence goes up, and the toughness goes up. So we're good. we'll do that. So what that makes a difference on, my, on me when I put it on me. Yeah, I get 10. And that's just from one piece. And these, these others are reasonable, but this is 11.2. A 7.4 toughness is quite impressive, isn't it? So now we have to activate this thing, and, that, and generally they are, these controls are uh, sort of um, clashing with other controls or conflicting. So let's have a look at the controls and see if I can actually activate this, because it would be able, good. It does take durability out of this thing. So it's under, it's actually under armour, isn't it? I can search for here, can't I? No. Oh. Not sure whether it's Q or category. Ah, oh, there we go. Chest plate, helmet. So H is a chest plate, so it should in turn invisibility on with that one. Uh, leggings, that's J. Well, that's conflicting. So what happens if we press H? Oh, yes, I can see. F5. Oh, well, I'm still there. <laughs> oh, but I'm not there. It's just my army, you can see. Oh, fine. I hope that means I'm invisible. So let's press H again, so turn it off. Oops, down I press H. Was it because I've got that in my hand? Yes, I think that's gone off now. Let's press F5 to be sure. Oh yes, I'm back again. <laughs> right, so that's that bit done. So let's have a look at my, my pack here. So that's the armour. So I've talked about the missing back, backpack and I had no idea where it was. I was getting a lot of lag uh, when I was exploring. So I'm going to have a quick sleep and I'll be back after that. So I was explore, exploring for Kimberlite and I actually found quite a bit. So that's the first thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to travel off to where the Kimberlite is. And also in here I've got these two treasure maps, buried treasure maps, 0 and 1. Oh, that's what they're called, okay. Um, so I'm going to go and find those as well. I'm not sure which order I'm going to do it in. I think I'll go to the Kimberlite mine first of all. So I'll see you in a minute when I'm there. Well, I'm here. As you can see, I've got oh, there's two samples as, as normal for the kim Kimberlite. So let's just pick those up. I oh, know I forgot to repair my hammer rod. So I'll get those two diamonds. So I've already dug down here because it makes sense to dig down here. It takes a long it takes a long time to do this. So here's my mine down here, and we just go down to the bottom of this. Make sure I've got my defence in my hand, so to speak. I don't think there are any mobs because I didn't hit any. And I lit up all the areas anyway. So it won't take a few seconds to get down here, so we'll just bear with me and we'll go around down to the bottom. There's no pollution in this mine, or very little. If there is any, it's because of lava. And what I that was where the that's where it says, and I've actually found this. So I'm right at bedrock here. So if I get my hammer out, I should have got my prospectus pick with me. And I think it's down here, somewhere like, no, it can't get down that way, so it can't be there. It's somewhere like here. So you right click this on this and it tells you whether no deposits in this direction, no deposits in this direction. Um, right click this one. Kimberlite is found west of you. Fantastic. So we've got some Kimberlite down here, definitely. This one, no deposits in this direction. 
This one says, it's da down from it. Now we're already on bedrock. I don't know how it can be down from us. So look, if you keep clicking around here. See, it says down from you. I'm not quite sure I understand this. <laughs> this one, no deposits, west of you. So let's break this and have a look, see what's underneath here. Maybe it's a good idea to take a block and just put a block underneath me just in case that happens to be lava or something underneath there. Wouldn't surprise me. So it says it's down from you. It says it's down from you and it says it's west of you. So there's nothing in that direction. Well, bedrock, that's brilliant. <laughs> and this one? No deposits in this direction. Found south of you. Okay. So well, is there any possibility of getting south of this thing to see if there's any um, any ore? Let's just dig around here a bit and see if we can find anything at all. I shouldn't really dig above my head. It's probably dangerous if there's lava in the area. Oh, that should be okay. So what's it telling us now? Because we were here, weren't we? And we're saying it was west of us. No deposits in this direction. No deposits in this direction. Down from you. Brilliant. <laughs> I'm just wondering whether there's, there's a... See, there is one here. We could actually get that one. But I'm just... I'm stuck. No deposits in this direction. It says there. North of you. So the north is that way. So I think it's uh, pulling my leg, so to speak. I don't think there's any here at all, even though the pick is telling me there is stuff. I can't think of where it could be. Let's have a look around again a bit more. Just try again. So there you have it down from you. Brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> what level are we on? Two. You know, I think this is more of a bug than anything else, to be honest with you. Because I don't think that's very useful at all. So, I can't see there being any ore in here, even though the pick's telling me there is ore. And it, and it is usually correct. But it's at bedrock level. And I have found some in the past where it was under where it was down here, and it was really at bedrock level. So that's one thing. Well, I've got, I'll see you in a minute when I've been upstairs and travelled to the next place. Right here I am, and I'm literally here. That's the spot, isn't it? Definitely this spot. So let's have a look. See if we can actually find this treasure. I dug down, so I know this below here is only. Um, cobblestone so I'm safe to dig straight down now I don't know how far we have to dig out and that's one thing I'm not 100% sure of let's just see if we can dig around a bit it might be that the treasure chest is I thought it would be actually directly where we are but it might not be so nothing there let's go down a bit more I have no idea how far down it is. It could be blocks. I'm sure it's not going to be very far from this spot. Anyway, I'll see you in a minute when I've dug right the way down or dug out as much as I can. Found it. What have we got in here? Silk touch book. Ah, that's not too bad actually. I'm not going to complain about that. Horse armour. Now I've actually got no space on me, so what I'm going to do is. I've got the invisible cloak, which I don't need on I me. Mean, let's put this one on because this has got the oh, <laughs> the magnetic, and it's also got the um, what else has it got? It and it's got in the hot. It's got the back the knapsack on the back of it. So let's have a look at that one. Uh, H plus H. We can get rid of some of this stuff. I don't. I won't need the diamond. I don't think I'll need the dirt. So that was treasure map. That's not this one. I'm not sure which one it is. Actually, let's have a look. I'll put the other one away. Oh, that's this one, isn't it? Yes. Okay, let's put this one away. I think it's this one. So, what else have we got in here? Two horse armor, melon seeds. Don't really need melon seeds. Maybe we take a horse armor with us and gold. 
bones and the rest of it can stay. We don't need those. Um, so that's that one. <laughs> that wasn't as difficult as I thought. I went right down to bedrock before, as you can see. <laughs> I didn't find anything at all. So let's get out of here. I'll use the dirt. No, I'll just dig my way out. So, next one will be over there, 800 blocks away. Um, I found these treasure maps in a dungeon uh, beside a village. We can have a look at that as well, but maybe not. Anyway, I'll see you when I get there. Well, I've dug quite a long way down. I haven't found it yet. So I'm going to give, call that one bad luck because I can't find it. So what else do we want to do on this expedition today? I think I'd like to go and have a look at the village that I found. That's what I've got on my list. So, missing treasure. Well, we found one of those. Now, let's go back home. Right, I'll see you when I'm back home. Well, I'm back again. So, now I'd like to look at... Actually, it was a question from Danny. Does it work the other way around? We've managed to be able to charge these up from uh, magnetic craft power. And therefore, I can feed it out and then feed this into whatever I'm feeding it into. But was, the question is, can it, does it work the other way around? And it doesn't seem to, because here I've got a... Oh, to move that to the hand. Here I've got to get a LV capacitor with fully charged 100K. You can see it. KIF. And this one is connected to this battery box. And the battery box isn't quite charged up, and it's not charging up. And I've tried the connector on here, and see this is set to output. Facing outside output, it tells me that. So I can easily can double check that by just connecting this one of these back up into this. Just do it like this. And that then should charge it up. I've tried the connector on here, it didn't work. So we'll look, and you can see it's charging up. So I can't feed it, at least into that machine. Which probably means I can't feed it into this machine either. So now maybe that's just a waste of time. And we'll just use the power from the other one. So let's remove that. It just breaks the connection. So this will, this will have full power, as you can see. This one I've, I've disconnected, broken again, so it doesn't overheat. Oh, so annoying. Um, and that's basically it. So the next thing I'd like to do is to have, have a look at the IE. I think it's not immersive engineering. It's an immersive tank. has a projector. Let's get rid of as much of this stuff as I can, first of all. Let's just... I'll tell you what, I'll come back in a few seconds when I've done that. Well, I've cleared out my inventory. And let's have a look. What I'd like to do next is have a, a look at the projector room. Immersive tech. I think it's projector. There's lots of them, but I don't think there's actually lots of them. I think there's just one or two. So we need treated wood, iron, no problem. Lantern, which is what? Glowstone. Can we do that? What are we missing? Two iron plates from immersive engineering. I've probably got some of those somewhere. And some glowstone. Is that? No, that's not missing. So we just need. It's hard to believe, actually. Oh, yeah, I've got plenty of glowstone in there. Iron plates from immersive engineering. We have to go and make some of those if we haven't got any already. I think I have got some. This should be in the, the chest at the back of the uh, press. I reckon I made some of these last time. Nope, nothing in there. Uh, but I've got the plate mould on there, so let's just make some more. Shouldn't take too long. I'm just wondering how to do this actually, because I've got in here 12 iron clusters. So let's put those 12 iron clusters in here and let's get those to be making. Should get 24. But as I said before, as I said in a previous episode, I, when I did three stacks, I didn't get double. It's fine with one stack, fine with two stacks, but three stacks it went wrong. So let's just get some. Oh, actually, my iron's pretty full, in fact. 1024. Let's take a stack. Let's stick a stack in that thing. Have I got my magnetic? Yeah, yes, I've got my magnetic armor. Let's just remove that off there and then put that into here. This stack should then get sent through. It is. Look, and you should get pressed. Because that's using the supply energy from the water wheel anyway. And this thing will already be full, this LV capacitor, low voltage capacitor. So we only need two, so let's just go and pick up two of those from the end here. Got six. Yeah, that'll do. 
So that's to carry on working the way. I'm very sad about my tool, especially the silk touch pick. <laughs> but it's not too it's not they're not irreplaceable. Maybe I'll make better ones next time. So we needed the lantern, didn't we? So let's go back to this. I can make three. I make three. So these aren't the powered lanterns which I've been making in the past. So now we should be able to make the projector. What are we missing? Just some glass. Okay. Have I got no glass with me? I usually have some glass in one of these two, but ah, alas, no. And nothing in there either, is there? That's irritating. All right, let's get some sand and smelt some sand. I haven't got much sand in here. Let's just take what we've got and halve it and smelt the rest. So we've got, uh, let's take 20. And go and smelt the rest of these. So we only need what one piece of glass. So I'll wait for that. It won't take very long at all. Uh, also, ne another rick to fall. Now I should have enough to make the projector. And it should be fairly straightforward as well. So let's have a look. Projector. Yeah, we've got everything we need. So it's immersive petroleum. Okay, that was the mod. What you do with this thing? I think you you take your book on the page of you what recipe you want to build and make. So let's. So here we've got an Akashic tome here. Let's just take that out of there. It might be better not to do this one as a as a book. Maybe it's better just to use the ordinary book. See, let's have a look at the recipe for immersive engineering books. Um, no, try at. What is it called? Manual, field manual, isn't it? This one. Ah, it's just a book and a lever. So we should be able to make one of those, no problem at all. I think I might even have got what I need in this chest books. I've got books because I made them to do something else. It was to make the Vicecraft manual because that wasn't one of the ones which was available. Where are they? Alright, so no, when really you can't find things you want. <laughs> it must be around here somewhere. Okay, I'm going to make one. I, well, I made some new book. <laughs> there were some books in there anyway, but never mind. I made some more. So we've got this one. So if I go, for example, heavy machinery, and let's say we would like to make the mixer, I believe it, all I have to do is take this page then and then combine this with the projector. Like that. Oh, yeah, that looks reasonable. And you put it down. And when you put it down, it projects the image of what you've got to put down. Let's just put it down. I could do that there, for example. I have to shift click it in. Can I put that on the ground? No, nope, I can't. <laughs> I would have thought I could have just put it down. But anyway, it projects the image. It's quite neat, isn't it? Oh, I've done something with that now. What did I do? All right, you just move it and you click it, and then that's it. Right, click it and it puts the positions down so you can see what you want. Does it tell you the ingredients? Displays instructions for making a mixer, three by three by three. Okay, so that's that one done. So we, we have a way of actually making things. Maybe it looks a bit easier, but I'm sure you could put the projector down on something. It would be nice if you could, you don't have to have it in your hand all the time, doesn't, wouldn't it? But it doesn't look like you can anyway so what would we like to make next i've finished what on my list i wanted to do so we've looked at the power and we've looked at the projector yes i know what i'd like to do i would actually like to make some um, a squeezer uh, from forestry so i've got prepared i think some ingots uh, probably bronze ingots probably in this chest here I've got 25 bronze ingots prepared 
So I'd like to make a squeezer, and the reason I'd like to make a squeezer is I've got these bees and I want to analyse them. So let's have a look at forestry. And I also want to make some a farm later on anyway, so we'll do we'll do that first of all. In fact I'd quite like to do Oh yeah, that's the analyzer. But that's the other one. I need to make the analyzer which is this one. So we make this in the squeezer with tin panes and one diamond. It's not too bad. And this but this, this one here we need to make first of all sturdy casing. Let's make a sturdy casing. And then from that we can then take out the ingots. I think there were just six ingots around the side and two pieces of glass, was it panes? No, probably glass itself. Let's just double check that recipe again. So I did that through this analyzer, which I'm uh, having a look at. So look at the uses of this one. Might be easier, mightn't it? Oh, there's eight pages. Maybe not so easy. Do these things. Database, okay. Squeeze that. Ah, it is just ordinary pieces of glass, isn't it? This is the one we want. Oh, it's a carpenter. Centrifuge. Oh, is it the carpenter I need to make? Yes, I think that's the one, isn't it? So just two pieces of glass. We should have those smelted. I think I melted more than just what I took, wasn't it? So let's go and collect those. That was convenient. I didn't expect that. Yeah, 19. We did 20. Nearly went the wrong way. And you can see it's autumn because the pumpkins are doing again. So between episodes I'm going to do some more pumpkin harvesting. Um, right, wrong place. So it's a carpenter. Which we need to fill up with power and water. That's actually not too difficult. I've got water, I've got a bucket here, and it doesn't use that much of the bucket. But what's probably worthwhile doing is to make the pipette, which is this recipe here. What do we need? Black wool. Just wool. Any wool will do fine. And I've got the odd piece of wool in here. So let's make the pipette because that's the one to, way to get rid of the excess fluid. I've used it once actually, but I didn't show you that. Immersive engineering. Oh, let's put that in here for the time being. I want to get rid of the lanterns. See, I'm actually looking at the Vicecraft stuff as well. So we'll have, maybe we'll be doing that in a, a near future episode. Um, so let's go and put this thing down and give it some power. I suppose the easiest way to do that is to use immersive craft because there's maybe immersive engineering will do. Let's put that down there like that. And then it'll have no power and it's got no fluid. So let's get a bucket of water. What else do we need? Some diamonds. I can't use this water. I can use this water for the bottles. This is fresh water. And if I don't if I don't use the bottles on it, I haven't got any with me at the moment, it will um not take any of water out. If you use a, buttly, a bucket, it will do, so I've got to be careful with that one. Uh, water's over here anyway. Let's just get some of that. But I also needed a, a connector. Hopefully I've got some connectors in stock. You never know. Yes, I've got those MV ones. I've got two. That's fine. And a cable. I've got one cable. That's fine. <laughs> Should be enough for what I would like to do. I know what to go and I need to get the the other components which was gas panes and redstone wasn't it so let's put a connect i've not done this before this way either but let's hope that this will actually work so we take the insulated cable shift right click that oh it already did it it actually turned off the light for a second so now it's got 4000 rf which is fine and you can empty the tanks with a pet we know that ready no recipes now the recipes are what does it say show recipes i just saw the line there we go so this is for packing stuff up. We don't care about 111 recipes. We won't do it that way. We'll do it through the analyzer. Here's one portable analyzer. So four tin, two redstone, two glass panes, one diamond. That shouldn't be a problem at all. Two redstone. I moved those because the one I've, that one filled up, and I've basically got that one tin. Which one's tin? I've not got my bubble slot. I don't know I've got my. Oh, I haven't. I wonder where that's gone to. I probably lost it. Fantastic. <laughs> hmm. Or not, as the case may be. Oh! 
Hey, you don't lose it. Okay, you get it back again when you craft the projector. I didn't notice that. Um, tin, which is tin. That's aluminium. I think it's this one. Yes. Four tin, one diamond, and some glass panes. I haven't got enough. Have we got glass? Yes, we've got glass. We can make some more glass panes. 16 will do. So we can do that. And then we can put that. Oh, we need some honey and stuff like that. So I do need to make not only a carpenter, but I also need to make a squeezer. So if I remember rightly, the recipe goes like this. The two panes were in the middle here, weren't they? Well, those are just templates you're putting in there. So put that in there. And then we want the 14 ingots. And I've got it wrong. Oh, it's got no water in it. Let's just right click this bucket of water. And it's still not got anything. What have I got wrong here? Well, it looks right to me. And that should create a port portable analyzer for analyzing bees, saplings, and butterflies. Let's have a look. What, how much water does this thing need? Two buckets. Okay, maybe that's the problem. Maybe it doesn't show up until you get two buckets. No big deal. Let's just get another bucket. In fact, that's better than half a bucket because that's where you you have to use a pipette for. And sure enough, that's this time it's working. So we're going to get a portable analyzer. But we need for that some honey I think so we also have to look at them we want to have a look at the squeezer which is this one so it's another sturdy casing with tin ingots and glass we can do that as well that's no big deal so now we've got our portable analyzer and it says zero charges so you right click it and it should basically tell you that you need to put honey drops in here I think that's what we do so that's that's been a while <coughs> since I've done bees to be honest with you but I actually quite enjoy doing them. This this series is going to be fairly long in terms of time because it takes quite a long time to do stuff. So while that, while that's doing stuff, we can actually make use of that time and breed some bees. Uh, well, that's what I'd like to do anyway. So I've got some honeycomb somewhere, but I'm not 100% sure where I've put it. But let's make the squeezer anyway. So we need a casing first of all. That used up the bronze fairly fast, didn't it? And then we need a six, ting six ingots of tin. I think that's tin. And two glass. Yep. And two glass, wasn't it? And that gives us a squeezer. And then we can squeeze the honey out of comb. So I'm not sure where I've got comb. I've got some, certainly got some comb around, because these bees are modest bees, so therefore they go in the desert. I've got some bee houses prepared, and I've got some wintry drones, which are not suitable for this biome either. So I'll do it from here actually, because it's night time. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you next time. My voice is a bit croaky, but it's just a need of cough or something. So until then, bye for now.